Hey friends, if you're getting ready to wire your home, you're probably wondering if you should use Cat6 or Cat6A. I'm going to give you my thoughts on that right now. This is a question we've been getting asked a lot and I want to answer it, but real quick before I do, I just want to give you kind of a quick update. We've been off YouTube here for a little bit while, not intentionally, but we're back and we want to start putting these out. Uh, I'm going to do some of these the next few weeks a little bit more grill style like this. I just have an iPhone set up on a tripod. Uh, we're not trying to be quite as fancy here for the next couple of weeks so we can keep the videos coming. Uh, some of you have asked, we do do a little bit more video now than we used to. That's just us out on an install or having a good time, the true escape video. We just like sharing a little bit about who we are and what we're doing. No need to watch those if you don't enjoy those. We enjoy them, so we're going to keep putting them out, but we want to get back to these kind of how-to videos and answering your questions so this is a question we've been getting asked a lot uh, whether or not you should use cat 6 or cat 6a I did a lot of research on this I was pretty nervous to answer this question and so I vetted it pretty good I reached out to our friends at Metro Home Theater they actually manufacture wire and, and have very high quality certified wire that we trust and we really trust our friends at Metro and their team I actually spent an hour on the phone with Brent McCall and asked him all about cat 6 cat 6a HDMI fiber to make sure what I'm about to share with you you can actually trust if if you're looking at Cat6 and Cat6A, what you're probably concerned about is the 10 gigabit rating. And so a lot of people know that if they have Cat6A, they get a 10 gigabit rating. Now here's what you need to understand, kind of the nuances and the specs. Cat6A is rated for 10 gigabits at 100 meters, which is about 330 feet. And so a lot of people go, oh, I got to use Cat6A. Sometimes when you're looking at the specs for Cat6, they will say that it's only rated for one gig at 100 meters. But that's where it's a little bit misleading. Cat6 is actually rated for 10 gigabits at 30 to 50 meters. Now there's some variable there and it depends a little bit on the environment how well you run your wire how much interference is there so again cat 6 is actually rated for 10 gigabits at 30 to 50 meters which is somewhere between 100 like 150 feet somewhere in that ballpark and so you can feel pretty confident about the speeds and the bandwidth you're getting from cat 6 you know as long as your runs are between 100 and 150 feet we almost always run cat 6 unless the client specifically requests cat 6a and then we will do cat 6a but now here's the other interesting thing when I was talking with Metro Home Theater and they were explaining that they actually manufacture their own cat 6a cable and they talked about it they said cat 6a is rated for 10 gigabits at 100 meters but everything has to be perfect the wire has to be pulled perfectly you can't pull on it too tight you can't have bends that are too tight and the terminations have to be perfect when i was talking with brett mccall about this it was interesting he talked about it and he said look our own team struggles to put the ends on perfectly so that they actually give us the 10 gigabits of speed it's very very difficult to terminate the ends now i don't think that brent's saying that his team's unable to terminate the wire i don't think that's the idea at all i think his point is they're the company that manufactures the wire they have the expertise they have the tools they know what they're doing and it's still difficult to do it perfectly so that it actually keeps that rating of 10 gigabits at 100 meters his point was that unless you really know what you're doing and you really need 300 foot runs cat 6 is going to be very adequate for anything in the home to give you some perspective when we bid out a home and we bid out a project our design clients send us their plans and we send them rough estimates of their bulk wire needs we estimate 100 foot runs so every drop or every cable that we run we estimate 100 feet we're going to be well under that 150 feet for 10 gigabits with cat 6 even in larger homes where it's a 10,000 12,000 square foot home we're usually 130 to 150 foot run is what we're going to average and so we still feel very very comfortable using cat 6 in those homes because of the distances we're going to be okay and we're going to achieve great speeds and great bandwidth now you definitely can use cat 6a i'm not telling you not to use cat 6a i'm just saying don't get hung up and think that you have to use cat 6a if you want 10 gigabit speed so hopefully that helps i know this is kind of a short video but hopefully that helps answer the question of whether or not you should use cat 6 or cat 6a as always we'd love it if you'd like subscribe and share this with your friends and we'll see you next time